Essential micronutrients, as the name suggests, are nutrients our body needs only in small amounts. These are the vitamins and minerals. In today's video, we will talk about sources of vitamins and minerals and the function of micronutrients. This video is brought to you by Kaya. Most of us fail to achieve our fitness goal because as we get busy, we get distracted with other things and start missing our workouts. Download Kaya and never miss your workouts again. Vitamins and minerals are essential micronutrients that play a variety of roles in our body, from building to repairing tissue to aiding digestion and maintaining nervous system functions. There is a daily recommendation of all the micronutrients that we should consume to function normally. Deficiency of vitamins and minerals results in diseases. An example is scurvy due to vitamin C deficiency seen among sailors who went on long voyages during 16th and 17th century. Keep in mind though, there is also an upper limit for the amount of vitamins and minerals one must consume on a daily basis. There can be unpleasant and even damaging side effects to having too much of micronutrients also. When we consume too much of a particular vitamin or mineral, it can stay within the body, making blood levels more toxic. Sources of Vitamins and Minerals and Micronutrient Functions Vitamins are either water-soluble or fat-soluble. The fat-soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E and K. These all require fat for digestion. Vitamin A plays a major role in vision, reproductive health and immune system. Vitamin A and D play a key role in bone health. The best source of vitamin A are egg yolks, milk and liver. The best source of vitamin D is sunlight. Vitamin E has antioxidant properties and helps prevent cell damage. Vegetable oils, nuts and seeds are a great source of vitamin E. Vitamin K is found in leafy greens such as broccoli, Brussels sprout and spinach. It plays a key role in healing and blood clotting and also plays an important role in bone growth. The water-soluble vitamins include all the B vitamins, vitamin C, folic acid and niacin. Niacin, riboflavin also known as vitamin B2 and thiamine also known as vitamin B1 help metabolize carbohydrates and amino acids. The great sources of vitamin B1 and B2 are grains, cereals, meats and legumes. Vitamin B6 plays a similar role as those of niacin, riboflavin and thiamine and also plays a role in neurotransmitter synthesis and the synthesis of blood cells. The great source of vitamin B6 are poultry, cereals, chickpeas and various root vegetables. Folic acid plays a major role in neurotransmitter and DNA synthesis, amino acid metabolization and red blood cell function. You will find it in fruits, legumes and liver. Vitamin B12 plays a major role in the nervous system functioning. Because of its important role, vitamin B12 deficiencies are serious. Unfortunately, you will find B12 only in animal-based food products such as poultry, beef and dairy. For vegans, therefore, we strongly recommend them to consume cereals fortified with vitamin B12. The work of vitamin C is very broad. It plays a crucial role in healing and collagen production. It is an antioxidant and synthesizes DNA and neurotransmitters. Vitamin C does not prevent the general public from contracting common cold, though that seems to be a common myth. Too much vitamin C can be a bad thing, acting as an oxidant and even leading to nosebleeds and gastrointestinal distress. Best sources of vitamin C are citrus fruits and vegetables. Essential minerals that our body needs include magnesium, potassium, manganese, calcium, sulfur, iron, chromium, fluoride, iodide, selenium, zinc, molybdenum, copper, and chromium. The main functions of minerals are bone and organ tissue maintenance, muscle contraction, digestion, healing, cellular functions, and nutrient transportation. With all the information we have provided you, you might now be confused on what you should be eating and how much. So to simplify things, just keep in mind that micronutrients are available in a whole unprocessed foods. If you are able to consume a diet high in variety of fruits, vegetables, legumes and meats and fish, you probably are not deficient in any of them. If on the other hand you find that you are eating a few of the same foods over and over again, you may want to supplement your diet with a few key missing micronutrients. This concludes our video on essential micronutrients. For next week we will go over whey protein. Thank you for watching this video. Click the like button if you enjoyed watching our video. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more on fitness. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming up for you. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments. We would love to hear your opinion. Have a great week ahead and we'll see you next week.